Roaches and dirty conditions. You don't want that, but that's what they found inside of a Northwest Side Indian restaurant, and it gave health inspectors no option but to close them down last month. Yeah, the night team's Tim Gerber dropped by this week to see if they've cleaned up the mess behind their kitchen door. Dosa City, located in the 9900 block of Fredericksburg Road, was shut down following their February 13th health inspection. Moldy foods in a cooler were condemned and discarded. Household pesticides were found in the kitchen, and so were live and dead roaches. Some foods in a cooler were being stored in T-shirt and grocery bags. Raw chicken was stored above ready-to-eat food in a cooler, while several coolers were soiled and needed to be cleaned. So was the stove top in several areas under and behind equipment. The inspector gave them a score of 77. He also suspended their food permit and forced them to close until all the violations were corrected. Hello. The business was back up and running when I stopped by this week. Is there anybody that's like the manager that's here? No, sir. I will come after 12.30. While this worker couldn't answer any questions, the owner arrived as we were leaving. Why, why did you guys get shut down? Yeah, the kitchen uh, cleaning. Okay, it wasn't, yeah. very, it wasn't clean enough for the inspector? Yeah. He says he was out of the country when the inspector came blaming his employees for letting conditions get out of hand. He says they were only closed about a week while the business was cleaned and pest control services were hired to deal with the roaches. After the inspector coming, uh, we check everything. Okay, perfect. You open. Metro health records show the business wasn't reinspected until March 2nd, 17 days after the shutdown order. They were given the green light to reopen once a reinstatement fee was paid and dead insects were removed. One more problem we spotted? The business was displaying an outdated report card with a much higher score. Something the owner hopes to earn again next time around. In fact, say, um, after three months, I'm coming, I give you the good number. Okay, well, you should put the, the current one up yeah. so people know. Yes. We'll be watching to see what happens behind the kitchen door. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. If you missed an episode of Behind the Kitchen Door, you can scan the QR code on your screen. Yeah, because from there, it'll take you straight to our BKD coverage on KSAT.com, where you can also catch previous episodes. We also give you a detailed breakdown of how restaurants are scored during these health inspections. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.